Hey, what is going on, Leos? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your August read. Uh, it is for the month of August. Well, for now to the end of August. Uh, it is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross-watchers, roles can be reversed. Uh, always feel free to comment down below. Um, drop, drop your birthday. Happy birthday, Leos. Let's see what we got out there. I know some people, some Leos already had their birthday. and maybe a few days late. At, so a belated birthday to you and an early birthday to the others. Um, I am a Leo rising. And uh, don't know why I said that, but... <laughs> I was gonna actually mention that my uh, my youngest son, he's a Leo, uh, he's the 11th. Um, so we got a, got a birthday coming up for him. Um, I'm so jealous of it. I'm kind of jealous of the, of the Leo birthday. Um, growing up, my, I mean, I'm a Sagittarius son. Uh, my birthday is December 18th, so I wish I had a birthday that was this far away from Christmas, because trust me, I d as far as I can re you know, remember, I don't remember ever getting birthday wrapping paper. <laughs> My struggles. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I don't know why I'm, I'm feeling good today. So, take take my uh, giddiness as a as a sign of that uh, we are going to be using the tarot of dreams there was a reason why i was holding the cards out not just to cover my face <laughs> anyway with all that being said let's get it universe what message do we have for leos for august 2024 what message do we have from now to the end of august All right, Leo. So the first thing I see is this: there's this amazing connection I I feel to with you and this person. Um, now, for some of you, this is someone you just met or someone you're going to meet. Like I said, this is uh, for the month of August. But I feel like with this person, I mean, I feel like. Feel you thinking about this person a lot, a lot. You know, I, I I feel like with this person, it's you know we do have this as a friendship. So this is someone you may already be friends with. There's someone you're going to be friends with. But I feel like it starts off, you know, very open communication. Feeling like you know, I feel like very compatible. Um, there's a lot of physical energy as well, but it's it's deeper than that. I feel like this is someone that you can really talk to. Now. With this person, I mean, I feel like there's this incredible pull, and I and I feel like in the beginning it's a lot of 
not really saying what's really going on. You know, I, I feel like this person hiding their true feelings for you in the beginning, even though they see the true potential. You know, this person is really seeing a side of you that I don't feel like a lot of people get to see. And they're enjoying the hell out of it. You know, and I feel like you're it, with this person. They're just they're It's like a moth to a flame. They're, they're just getting drawn in. Um, like I said, there's a lot of physical, but there's something much deeper than that. Uh, the physical is what, what will bring them to the door. But that connection that you have with this person is, is the one and it is what's keeping them from wanting to go anywhere else. Um, you know, I, I see this person holding back a little bit, but not holding back from you, but just not really telling you how they feel about you in the beginning. Uh, I, I, I do feel like a little bit of showing off, like this person is trying to get your attention. And I feel like you're, you're not shy about wanting their attention. And I feel like very quickly, um, like I said, very quickly, I see this person knowing exactly what they, what, what they want. Uh, and I feel like you already know what you want very quickly as well. Uh, being on the same page, wanting the same thing. You know, I, I, I feel like the passion that flows through this, but is something else. It's not something that I see very often. It, it, there's a lot of passion between you and this person. I get a sense that there's a lot of fire in this person as well. Um, but it goes much deeper than just passion. Like I said, I mean, I, I feel like mentally on the same page, emotionally on the same page. Uh, this person has some real feelings for you and I feel like it, it, this is gonna get serious quicker than you thought. You know, I see this taking a serious turn. You know, I, I feel like this person, you inspire them and they inspire you. And I feel like the when you're not around this person, you're thinking about them. And this is, I mean, dual energy here. I feel like this person's thinking about you when you're not around either. You know, just kind of biding their time to get back to you. Um, you know, I, I see this person kind of altering their schedule to be around you, making reasons to be around you, making reasons to, to see you, making up excuses to see you. You know, I, I feel like you just make each other happy. And at the end of the day, I mean, that's a hell of a start. Um, you know, and I feel like the communication you have with this person, open and honest communication You know, gives you something that you, I feel like is very rare to find, uh, trust. You know, I, I feel like this person actually listens to you. They want to hear what you have to say. You know, and, and they're open and honest with you about that. And, and, I, and I feel like, you know, a lot of, I've said this before, but people listen till they get what they want. A lot of people listen till they get what they want. They listen till they hear what they want to hear. You know, there's different types of energies like that. But then comes along a person that not only are they listening, but they're hearing you. And this person hears you. They want to hear you. There's no hidden intent, you know, hidden agendas. There's no, you know, there's no bullshit. Uh, this person, they want to get to know you. You know, they're nurturing this connection. You know, like I said, I mean, it's clear that there's something else going on uh, very quickly. Um, them wanting to get your, uh, your attention, and I feel like you want their attention. You're seeking each other's attention. Like I said, it's a... Uh, it's that feeling like when you're at work or you're you're apart from this person for whatever reason. It could be work, it could be school, it could be just, you know, they're doing their thing. Uh, I feel like it's almost like you counting, you counting down till you see them again. Like just getting excited like a kid at Christmas. 
And I mean, you got a new loaf. You know, I, I, I feel like being around this person, um, being with this person, I mean, I, I, not that you f felt like you weren't strong before, but with this person beside you, uh, that establishment of trust, that openness that you have with this person, that friendship and that emotional and, and intimate connection, uh, feeling like there's nothing that you can't do together. You know, finding that strength in each other. Um, even the most confident person, when they find the right one, uh, there's that next level of confidence. You know, I see a lot of happiness with this person, with that sun card. Um, we're going to go back to this because I feel like I skipped over it really quickly. But this is something that I really love seeing in a read. Any read that I do, I love this card. And what it, what it says to me, and it may not say the same thing to other people, but what it says to me, especially in this read, is filling up all your cups. You know, it, it's like when you see those TikToks or Instagrams and people say, you know, uh, rate something at a, you know, at a 10. Well, we're talking about this as rating something out of a nine and, and you're a nine of a nine and they're nine of nine. I mean, and they filling up your cups and... You know, it's not just the emotional, it's not just the listening, it's not just the, the way they admire you, the way they see you, the way they look at you. It's not just the intimacy, it's, it's not just the mental connection, it, it's all of it. You know, I've talked about this before, where sometimes we can meet people where we have <clears throat> a great sex life. You know, sex is off the charts. But emotionally, we don't have, we're not happy with them. Or you'll meet someone where you're emotionally happy with them, but the sex sucks. <laughs> or you're emotionally happy with them, but mentally you're on different pages. Or any of those, vice versa. But this, I mean, this is showing a different perspective. This is uh, having your cake and eating it too. You know, I, I see fulfillment on all levels here. You know, it, it's a very balanced energy with this person, uh, with that Sagittarius energy, that temperance. Um, you know, just on the same page, just on the same wavelength. I mean, I see all aspects being uh, over the chart. You know, and I feel like this is something that I don't feel like you're going to be walking away from, nor do they, you or them want to walk away from this. Um, you know, I, I feel like with this person, with that emperor energy, it's, a, you know, a very protective. You know, I feel like this person is going to be fiercely protective of this connection. You know, and that's why I feel like they're going to be honest with you. They're going to be open with you. You know, they feel, they, they, they feel that connection with you where they could just be themselves. And that... That feeling with someone is something that is priceless. You know, having that feeling where you can absolutely just be you and and not worry whether it's enough or or if it's too much. You know, and, and like I said, we fiercely protective but fiercely loyal. Uh, they they know what they have. Um, we have the lovers card as well. You know, that I have a lot of coin phrases for the lover's card, depending on how the read is. But with this, it, you know, I, I actually just did a read, um, a similar energy. And it's that firefighter love. You know, someone that even when it gets hot, they're there. You know, when sparks are flying, shit gets it on fire. This person's running in, not running out. And that's that loyalty. That's that. Uh, very protective energy. You know, this is a deep connection that you're going to have with this person. You know, uh, the new love. I mean, they're falling hard and fast. And they like it. You know, this is not something that I'm not seeing any red flags. I mean, this person's going after what they want. 
you know, they're gonna they have no they're gonna have no regrets. They want no regrets. Um, they're not gonna let someone like you slip through their fingers. You know, seizing the day, uh, carpe diem, seize the moment, seize the day. You know, king a king of wands is about going after what you want, um, and holding on to it, and that. That, that five of swords is about not having the regret. You know, this person isn't going to regret the things they didn't do with you. They're going to regret the things. They, they'd only regret the things they don't do. You know, and like I said in the beginning, you may not feel like you feel the connection with this person. You may not. I feel like the chase going back and forth, the attention going back and forth. Um, but that's this little, this little bugger here. That's seven of swords. I, I, I feel like the only thing that I see in the way of negative news here, and this isn't really negative. This is just someone just kind of feel it out, figure out what, what this all means before they say something. Um, in the beginning, I feel like it's going to be hard for this person to completely open up. Um, but again, I feel like you're dealing with another fire sign. Um, if they're not a fire sun sign, they're got some fire in the charts because like we all know about fire signs is we have, I call it the ring of fire where we put this ring of fire up and I mean, if you're willing to step through it, you get to see something most people don't. You see our nice little comfy place. It's like you got this nice little oasis inside this ring of fire. And most people don't get that close. They get a little close and they're like, oh, this is too hot for me. I'm walking away. Uh, but there's a few people that'll step through. And once they step through, they realize, you know, I, and I've heard that a lot. I'm a Sagittarius sun and moon and a Leo rising. I got a lot of fire in me. And a lot of people have told me that, you know, give me the opinion on fire signs of how... You know, we can be, you know, fire signs aren't that loving. You just haven't been loved by a fire sign, then obviously, you know, we protect our love. And then when, you know, when we let, when we let you in or you break through that, that ring of fire, you'll, you'll feel real love because we got it. We just protect it. We don't just give it away to anybody. Yeah, so like I said, I mean, with this person, uh, they don't just listen, they hear. You know, someone is, it, they're emotionally, they're ready. I mean, all, I mean, they're filling up all cups, like I said. Uh, I feel like you're both going to get a real wake-up call when it comes to seeing things in a different perspective. Because um, this is the real one. You know, and like I said, I mean... They see you, and they just want to see more. Now with this person, uh, like I said, a lot of fire. We got Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Uh, we have some Gemini and Aquarius. Some Pisces. Some Cancer as well. I'm getting some Virgo. I'm just going to throw Virgo in there. I feel like it's... I got a feeling of some Virgo there. Um, kind of reminds me of the, those movies where, you know, the, the, the one person... Is walk and they just met and they're walking away from each other or people that know each other however the situation but they're walking away from each other and one turns and looks and the other person is still walking away and then they turn and keep walking away and then the other person looks and they're looking what's that movie meet joe black it's like that like you both have each other's attention you know and you both you may be in your head about it a bit in the beginning as well, but like I said, there's a strong establishment of trust. You know, there's this openness between the two of you that I feel like you're going to get over that real quick. 
But like I said, it's not just how they look at you. It's not just how they they see you. It's how they look. And, you know, it's how, how they talk to you, how they talk about you, how they think about you. You know, this is the type of person when they're in, they're all in. I like that. I'm, I'm going to watch that movie again. Meet Joe Black. That was a good one. <laughs> it was different. Definitely different. Um, but that's the thing. Eh? You know, sometimes you meet people and it just, it's easy. You know, they're very open. You know, maybe very flirtatious, very, very to the point. But if you're like me, when I was, back when I was dating, if someone seemed too anxious to get with me, that made me more cautious than someone that was cautious. If that makes sense. <laughs> Um, I read this neuro neurology study a few years ago, and one of the one of the doctors made this really fascinating point. I don't know if this is relevant, but it's something that um, check it out because I've I've tried it, I've tested it, and absolutely one hundred percent every time it works. Uh, if you're ever in a group of friends, say you're standing around, and someone tells a joke. Pay attention to who's looking at who when they laugh. Because apparently, according to the study and the experiments I've done since then, um, when you're laughing, the person that, that has interest in you is going to be looking at you. Like if there's five of us around, I tell a joke and this guy laughs and this girl is looking at him. When the laugh comes, she's interested, vice versa. Because apparently there's something in us that want to see the people that we care about smile. It's really interesting. But I've seen it a few times. Uh, this guy and this girl I know that, that were crushing on each other, but for some reason couldn't, couldn't tell each other. I don't know why they couldn't tell each other, because they're both single and they're both available. So wasn't sure why, but... We were out one night and uh, at a friend's barbecue and somebody had said something, like told a joke and she was laughing and he was staring her right into her soul. <laughs> and she was staring right back. So I'm still testing it out, still theory, but so far it's holding up. Anyway, be good. Take care. Stay safe.